Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to another ASMR night. So, I'm going to try to be particularly sleepy today. Um, we're going to start with, oh well, it may not work with my sore throat that I've had. So, it may mostly be whispering. But we're going to start with a serious <clears throat> Spanish teacher role play. And uh, it's only as serious as the fact I've done Duolingo for like one month. And then some kind of goofy parts for it. What's up, potato? And then whispering only, which again I may have to switch to earlier with this voice going on. With, uh, it was a request to like test markers. And it works out because this one sometimes works. I'm supposed to be doing this. <laughs> What's up, Buck? What's up, Doug? Yeah, you uh, save it for the ASMR on Monday, or save it for the RuneScape on Tuesdays. It's ASMR only on Thursdays. I always joke during the RuneScape streams, like, if you see this pop up on a Thursday, don't think when was I so drunk that I followed an ASMR stream. RuneScape on Tuesdays. Hey everybody, so let's get started with the Spanish teacher role play. We'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, before I forget this. Okay, perfect. Hola, mis estudiantes. Today, we'll get started with Spanish 101. So I know you guys have little to no experience with Spanish, and lucky for you, I have just a little. <laughs> I have here a board to practice. So I can help you guys spell. Though I kind of forgot about um, erasers. Don't you worry. Okay, good. That works. No, you know no Spanish, Polly. I know more. Because you're going to learn some very tough words today, like por favor. Does anybody in class know what that means? Por favor. Por favor. Yes, it means please. And when someone does something for you, right, you should always say thank you. So, how do we say thank you in Spanish? Does anybody know? Gracias. Gracias. I, I am rolling my R's perfectly, potato. It's you students, you estudiantes, who are not doing it very well, so let's all practice my phenomenal are rolling por favor por favor I've never been able to roll my R's and hey Clefairy happy to have you 
since you didn't catch the other streams, I actually have a bit of a cold right now, so my voice may sound a little more raspier than usual. So let's practice the two words that we've learned so far. Por favor, please. Gracias, thanks. Another word you may just use in casual conversation is you're welcome, right? So after somebody tells you gracias, you would respond de nada. De nada. Sort of like it's nothing. You're welcome. No biggie. Now, sort of an opposite. If you, you know, kind of screwed up and you need to say sorry, you want to say lo siento. Lo siento. Lo siento. I like the sound of that one. Lo siento. Say it with me. Oh. Lo siento. Of course, I'm probably stressing the wrong syllables. We only have two more of this nature before we practice some um, greetings, which you probably already know. But one other you may not know is mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. And finally, hopefully I say this right because I have not learned this on Duolingo yet, but me llamo. Me llamo. I'm called. My name is. Me llamo. Now, we're going to get into the dry erase board when we practice some um, conjugation, which was always what was my big barrier for Spanish. I didn't realize how regular verbs are conjugated, just like in French, which is what I took. But let's start with those greetings. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Say it with me. Buenos dias. I always thought that was like um, good afternoon or good day. You'll really more so use that for the morning, okay? And you probably know good night. A lot of Americans know good night in Spanish. Anybody know? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. So, buenos dias. Buenas noches. Buenos dias. Buenas noches. A little misspelling there, Polly, but I think, I bet that was a typo. Good job, everybody. Now, another phrase you may have already heard that's always useful for us, well, not all y'all are, but for us Americans and Canadians, hablas inglés, hablas inglés, meaning, do you speak English? Hablas inglés. You'll notice I sometimes pronounce, especially the accented Vowels more like French, Francais, than Spanish, because that's what I took. But I've been loving Duolingo so far. It's fun. One of my favorite phrases that I want you guys to practice and will lead us to conjugation is Tu bebes agua. Tu bebes agua. You drink water. You'll notice, and a lot of people know this, that there's no do you, right? Do you. 
Instead, you ask it in a questioning way. Tu hablas inglés? Tu bebes agua? And unlike French, most Spanish speakers do not do a formal U and a informal U like vu versus tu. Tu hablas inglés? Tu bebes agua? So it's probably my favorite Spanish verb to conjugate so far. It's when you're saying I drink. Oh, darn. Oh, well, now I know, Polly. Excellent Spanish teacher. When you're saying I drink, it's bebo. See that O at the end? And you'll notice a theme with a lot of Spanish. Conjugation is, you know, the O, S, and nothing at the end. So bebo, bebes, for you drink, right? We said tu bebes agua. And then if you're saying he drinks, thanks for the follow, Julius. I like your name, too. Julius Dig. Julius Dig. So, let's learn I, you, and he. And there is a quiz at the end of class. I'm okay, Julius. Just trying to keep my students, mis estudiantes, focused. Focused, right? right there, okay. Some will say yo bebo. You could say yo bebo. Tu bebes. El bebe. Say it with me. Yo bebo. Tu bebes. El bebe. I always liked that one. How are you doing, Julius? You probably know more Spanish than I do. Let's keep the yo, tu, and el. So I, you, and he. Let's do another one that's kind of a regular conjugation like that. Como, meaning I eat. So yo como, tu comes, el come. So like bebo, bebes, and bebe, we have yo como, tu comes, el come. Okay, it's that same theme, right? Como, comes, come. Good, focus, 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 focus. So there's supposed to be some humorous ones now of me saying things wrong, but we're almost out of time for the role play part. We still have not learned yes and no. Kind of like hola, you've probably already heard si, meaning yes. Right, si. Si, por favor. Right, yes, please. What I didn't know until a few weeks ago is that there's actually an accent, okay? An accent for C. Now, no is conveniently no. C and no. <laughs> Finally, another one that's useful is donde esta? Where is? Donde está el baño? Where is the bathroom? Donde está los cervezas? Where are the beers? And um, turns out I was wrong earlier. Um, you do pronounce me llamo mi llama. Okay, say it with me. Mi llama. Mi llama. 
Okay. And I'm glad we learned probably the most important words for um, your trip to Mexico. It's llama, okay? Turns out everybody was saying it wrong except me. It's llama. Me, llama. We learned cervezas and baño. Beers and bathroom. And really, almost every other word you need, just add A or A at the end. Train A, right? Lunch A. Sanitize. Okay, those are all real words, okay? And some examples of A at the end. Always have water. I, gra I, I promise I'll go grab one in just a second. I can't believe I don't have water. Every regular viewer here knows I always have an abundance. An abundance. What was I thinking? Yes, hydrate. Perfect example. We're almost getting French there. Um, trucka. Marqueta. Say it with me. For market, you say marketa. Okay, marketa. Como ça va? Is how are you doing? Je suis, je m'appelle. Okay, let me go. Let me go grab a water. Ignore how messy Michael's desk is. It was his birthday two days ago. So he got a lot of gifts. Muchos regalos. I think that's right. I have water real nearby, I promise. I just can't believe I don't have water right here. always have water. i flabbergasted right now. Well, cheers. Thanks, Julius. That's the end of the fantastic Spanish teacher roleplay. Si, hydrate. Let's switch to whispering only.
jot some things down here. See, it's kind of like vaguely working right now. Let's get it working a little better. That was the request. It was licking the pen. Oh wow, that did make it a lot better. again. Just, there we go, folks. Chalk. I had that on the list. Is there too much? Can I, like, lick too much ink? I got the pen working again, so let me write down chalk. before. Um, I just don't know if I've gotten access to like the board part, but I think I could for sure. actually a good solution, you're right. Wet it and the down. Oh, there it goes. It's already gone again. Now my fingers. Oh no, yo. It's all 
actually already out. Alright, we only have a couple more of those. I always liked the look of these kinds of pens. Like the way that they write. Potato. You're so naughty right after you get extra credit. Now you gotta write Spanish. Hablas Espanol. <laughs> well, you're lucky. Most of my symptoms have gotten better. So, since I'm so close to the camera, I might not do the, the biceps we had been doing. But here goes nothing. feeling better, which is good. I should be doing biceps. sort of limited edition. Let's see what these sound like. Okay, I'm a little winded, not gonna lie.
do you think so, Jennifer? These classic markers. drawing you it's you like a and hey Alice I just realized it's you doesn't this look just like you all and uh, you know if you're still here calligraphy, calligraphy you could always guest star and teach them some real Spanish you got a very ASMR -y voice you do <laughs> but you guys already got me over my 30 minutes I want to actually game tonight and I need lots of rest to fight this extra stream this weekend of quests to get my quest cape, but we are doing a family thing on Saturday and possibly even Sunday, so sadly it might not be till next weekend, but I appreciate you all, and I hope you enjoyed the roleplay and the writing sounds, and uh, see you next Thursday, if not sooner. Tuesday RuneScape giveaway. Cheers, guys. <laughs>